Good morning, everyone. It's Penelope, and it is Tuesday. And before I get on with what the main part of this video is, I do want to apologize if my husband's video um, offended anyone. I know I lost some subscribers, and I, I don't understand why, because the title of the video certainly said, Beware of Language. I did put a disclaimer. You know, it was not informational. It was strictly my husband being silly, and I'm telling you that he tried really hard not to use foul language and be crude. But that is who he is, and I married him when I was 23. So, if you got a 23-year-old lady, young lady, who's thinking about getting married, tell her she will be in that situation for a very long time. <laughs> anyway, um, I did go strategic clearance shopping at Dollar General. Yes, I did. I was there um, by 8.30, and there was no one in the store. I had a strategic plan. Um, this clearance sale is the one where I like to get my winter um, clearance clothing. This is a preparedness for next year and, you know, just winter in general. I went ahead and got nine of these long john tops. They're normally $7. I gave a dollar five a piece for them. So I got nine of them. I went ahead and got nine. We're stocked up, you know, nine bucks. Um, I also found four of the long john bottoms. Um, so nine tops, four bottoms at a dollar five. You can't beat that deal. I mean, I could have waited, but if someone would have found them, then they would have been gone. And I absolutely like to keep these. Yes, they wear out quickly, more quickly than, you know, if you get Hanes or so on and so forth. But I have them. We have long johns, tops, and bottoms, and we're pretty much set for winter underclothing. So this is what I do every year. The gray dot and blue dot clothing, when it goes with the clearance, I snatch it up. Okay. Um, what else did I get for prepping? I got this headlamp for $2. For $2, I have an extra headlamp that I can put into my prep bin, and it's there. So if something happens to one of our nicer headlamps or some of our other headlamps, we always have a spare. So this is considered a spare headlamp prep. Okay, something else I did was I found these. Okay, these are, eh, I can't get it up from that way. here we go. These are the five stackable shoe boxes. These rang up for $2.02 a pack. So for $4.04, I got 10 storage containers. I think that is fantastic. One of them is broken, but that is okay because I can do something else with it and it'll be fine. Okay, um, something else I do on this clearance sale, this specific clearance sale, is find these winter wonder socks. And I love them, they're thick, they're Christmassy, and they can go into um, stockings and coffee cups and then you have these little house shoes. And you know, I've got some stuff for Christmas. Now, something else I found, which I thought were really, really cute, um, not only more house shoes, but I found these. And I, I didn't find enough to do all of the baskets. These happen to be a hamster. They're little hamster sockies. And then they have a hamster eye mask for sleeping. And I thought these would be great to put into those specialized Easter things that I'm doing for the guys at work to give to their gals. So I thought those were perfect and I got those. Um, I also found, and I knew these were there, and I thought, wow, these would be great to have at the house. Um, these planter sweet and crunchy peanuts, um, they went from $2.70 to $1.45. I think $1.45? Yes, these were $1.45 a piece, and you know, planters, sweet and crunchy nuts, oh, how fun will that be? I also have some chocolate and I can drizzle it over it, make some popcorn, make some special treats to put into 
my Easter baskets as well. Um, pumpkin seeds. These are the pumpkin seeds that are 90 cents a piece. They went down to 45 cents. I got five of those. So three planters, five of the pumpkin seeds, nine um, long john tops, four long john bottoms, and some Christmas socks and um, health shoes, the 10 stackable containers. And I spent $31.84 before tax, and that was for 32 items. Not to mention it gave me a five off of 25 for Saturday. And there is a few things that I'm going to go after for Saturday. Um, and once again, it's going to be strategic. When I went in, I was in and out in 10 minutes. I'm hoping to do less um, Saturday when I go up there to use that. There are specific things on the digitals that I want to use. Um, I'm really not into the makeup or any of the um, house care products this time. It's mostly strictly winter prep items. So if you need stocking caps or gloves or things like that, this is the time to get them. Um, on this specific clearance sale, sweat clothes, long johns, winter socks, you know, that all happens to be the best time to get them for this coming winter later. I mean, we're not, you know, we just got out of winter, but I do start winter prepping now. Um, another thing that you might want to start looking for are the de-icers, the ice scrapers, uh, window clings, the plastic that you put on the window, those also should be going down in price right now with the clearance sale. So this is the time to stock up on your winter stuff, this Dollar General clearance sale. But let me tell you something, please, with this coronavirus going on, you don't want to go in and finagle around. You want to go in with a specific strategic plan. And that's what I did this morning. Ten minutes, in and out. I was done. Um, got everything that you saw here and was out. There was no one else in the store but me and the cashiers. And obviously we kept our distance, sanitized before, during, and after the shop. So hopefully that will be okay. But I do want to tell you on a sadder note that I am very upset about us losing a co-worker at work and I'm glad that they finally finalized that for us. I still don't know exactly who it was, but it was someone from our facility and I got the email yesterday from our CEO and we will not be going back to work till next Monday. Um, he said that the Board of Health saw how they had sanitized, they went through, they did a walk with an inspection, and they were okay with what they found. So I don't know what we're going to do. Um, I know that Monday we will go back to work. So the rest of the week, I'm going to be here with Stir Crazy Man. <laughs> and he does get meals every day, just in case you wanted to know that. All right. Well, you all stay safe. And if you decide to do a Dollar General clearance haul, do it strategically, safely, and quickly. I mean, that's the only thing I can say. Um, when I go Saturday, I have a game plan. I'm going to look to see if there's any more of these. I'm going to get more of these that I left. Um, I will probably get um, some of the men's socks that I know are there some more winter hats and gloves. You know, I'm pretty stocked up from last year because I really hit it hard last year. But it was fun last year. This is not fun. This is strategic. And I do it every single year, and I'm not doing it to the capacity that I normally do a clearance sale. You don't see makeup for the overage. You don't see any of that. I did not coupon. Just didn't do it. Um, don't need it. And if I needed it, I certainly would, but I decided to put my money and invest it in winter clothing and snacks. You all have a great day. Hugs from a distance. Be safe. And if you didn't see my husband's video, you can go back and watch both of them. But please, please understand, he tried really hard to keep it up clean. Bye, you all. Hugs from a distance.
Have a good day.